Jeremy, thanks. We're about three months away from tax day. That's April 18th this year. This means you got to get on that. That's right. But after January 1st, it is never too early to get a jump on filing. We've already done it yes, and we, we have, have some info that'll help you do that. <laughs> Becca Sutfin and Jim Johnson are here with details on the volunteer income tax assistance program. Thank you both for joining us here. Thank you for having us. Thank you very much. For well, Becca, us. Why don't you start us off and tell us about the program and how people can get involved. Absolutely. So um, I'm with United Way of Greater Kingsport, and I think it's really important for us that we be able to serve this need for our community. So really what we're going to be doing this year is we're going to be offering tax assistance for free in Kingsport and in Bluntville. So what we do is we work with folks like Jim uh, and really leverage volunteers to be able to provide that quality return and be able to get their uh, the taxes returned promptly. And taxes can be tricky. You always see the joke <laughs> online where it's like the government's asking me to figure it out. And if I get it wrong, I'm under arrest. I mean, it, it, it is always interesting to me how they come up with the refund numbers and what you need to file. Now, you're going to be the expert on scene. So what do people need to bring and what do they need to know? Uh, well, they need to bring their, uh, we require a photo ID and their social security card, as well as all the W-2 forms and 1099 forms that they might have that they might have received for that, for the information that we need. And we'll interview them and ask them questions about their tax situation before, before we go off and try to do their taxes and make sure that we're getting everything they need to get the, the maximum refund that they can get. When it comes to tax season, there's always procrastinators as well, but you guys are running a pretty long operation here. So tell me about when people can apply and, and, and get you guys in for some help. Yeah, uh, actually, so we'll be offering taxes starting on uh, February the 5th and we'll run through April the 11th. And so what we really encourage folks to do is actually to either call our phone number or to register online for an app for an appointment. And then that way we can make sure that folks can get the appointments because we are limited on slots uh, and that's due to the number of volunteers. So the sooner you can register and sign up for an appointment, the better. Yeah, we did a question of a day about this and we asked our viewers when they file. A lot of you guys were leaning towards the later half of March. I mean, this used to be a procrastinator. He has changed over a new leaf and you cannot That's procrastinate right. because they have to apply for a slot mm -hmm. sooner than later. How do they do that? Well, they can call us at our, uh, we have a reservation number 423-483-2962 and we can make a reservation over the phone or they can go to the United Way website and there's a link there to get to an online form that you can self-register for an appointment. It's the fifth year of running this program. Tell me about how, you know, how much intake you guys have seen in the past and what your goals are for this year. Yeah, we do have some lofty goals this year. So last year we served about 300 tax returns. This year we're hoping to double that with 600 tax returns. And so it really does take more volunteers. What Jim and I were estimating is one volunteer can serve about 50 individuals in our community with their taxes. So if people want to volunteer, there is still time and we can get folks trained and get them going. Well, that is all great information. Hopefully people take advantage of this program, whether it, when it comes to them filing their taxes or being a volunteer and helping their fellow community members. Thank you both. Some demographics for the program do include people who generally make $64,000 uh, a year or less, people with disabilities, and limited English-speaking taxpayers. Appointments will be available at the B.O. Dobbins Senior Complex in Kingsport and the Sullivan County Public Library from February 5th through April 11th. A big time frame there. So even if you procrastinate, you can get that appointment now. You can find more information on the United Way of Greater Kingsport's website. We'll be right back.